Guiyu in China is regarded as the heartland of e-waste disposal. The city handles approximately one and a half million tons a year, anything from old computers, printers and mobile phones to refrigerators and televisions, most of which comes from the West. Recycling this waste is a dangerous activity. According to environmentalists, thousands of lives are being put at risk by toxic chemicals seeping from used electrical appliances. And Greenpeace China says harm is no longer limited to Chinese waste handlers. In the past few years, we have evidence to show that some of the recycled items are actually being used to make new products, such as mobile phones or even children's toys. These new products may be poisonous and will affect people's health. Most e-waste in China is improperly handled. Much of it is incinerated by backyard recyclers to recover valuable metals such as gold, a practice that releases toxic pollution and allows for very little metal to be recovered in the end. In every country, including China, governments need to have a stricter e-waste management policy. They need to tell citizens how to deal with electronic waste. But at the same time, companies should also be held to account. They aren't just responsible for producing and selling the things. They should also be responsible for dealing with their products after they've been used. We need policies to regulate such business activity. Exporting waste to developing countries is up to 10 times cheaper for Western nations than dealing with it at home. E-waste is expected to continue growing exponentially, posing a real problem not only for countries like China, but also South Africa and India.